Good morning, everyone. So I am currently in Spain. And I thought that I would do a day in my life in Spain because I already did one while I was at college. So I'll show you guys what my life is like here in this college program. So I just got up. It's, um, it's 8.30. And the first thing I do is I have breakfast. Um, so I'm staying in a like a little hostel area. I'll show you guys the room really quick. So I'm going to get dressed. Let me see if I can do this transition. Turn off the lamp and we head out. I'm gonna take you guys to one of my favorite parks. It's called Parque del Oeste. Right there's the park. Absolutely beautiful. And there's just park all around me. Like I'm just showing you a very small part of the park. This park is pretty big. Rosa de Madrid. Vamos a entrar. See, that looks like a good tree to sit down under. All right, so now that I'm sitting down next to this lovely tree, I'll explain a little bit about what I'm doing in Spain, what program I'm on, and why I'm not in class. So basically, this is the Madrid uh, Summer Program, which is a program that goes through my college, which is Rollins College. It's back in Florida in the States. It's a six-week summer program, and the students go and you take classes in Spanish here in Madrid. You stay with a host family, so you're completely immersed in the language, and you go on a bunch of different cultural activities. So this weekend, we're going to Segovia, for example. Um, so with that being said, the reason I'm not in class is because I'm actually not a student on this trip. I'm a site leader. And for those of you who don't know, a site leader is kind of like an RA or a resident assistant. And for those of you who don't know what a resident assistant is, they're college students who have been trained in everything from like homesickness to real emergencies and resident assistants are kind of like the leaders on campus. So basically that's what I am over here in Spain. My job is basically to look after the students. Um, if any of them need to go to the clinic, I take them to the clinic. If they have any problems with, you know, Spanish translations, I can help them translate. If they need, you know, counseling with their roommates or if they have problems with their host families, um, it's my job to facilitate all of those changes. And I do get paid. I got a stipend of $2,000 around that and free room and board. So it's a very good opportunity for me. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm currently not in class, even though it's about 1030, um, just because I don't have class. So I actually had to move because they were cutting grass. Um, but I have a little bit of time. So I'm going to show you guys El uh, Palacio Real and a little bit more of the park. So just show you guys some beautiful views come explore with me on this lovely, lovely Thursday morning. So they 
to head back to the school that all of um, the Rollins students are currently studying in. Um, and then we're going to have lunch. So the school is actually pretty small. It's right there, that red banner. So there's Steven. He's the first one out of class, apparently. Hola. What were you learning in class today? Today we were learning about the difference between regular and irregular uh, verbs and their past and present tenses. And our class is easy? I think classes are pretty easy. Yeah, the teachers are really nice and uh, they make it fun. So has your Spanish improved? Because we've been here for like a week now. Have you seen any like improvement? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But how are classes today? What? Yeah. Well, that's my word. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Very 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 interesting. Everything good, Izzy? Oh, everything's great. <laughs> Lunch time. So what did you guys do in class today? Yeah. I feel like most of it was talking. For the first just one, talking. we chatted, yeah. which is really helpful because it's, we talked about like normal things, so we learned the average vocab. Nice. Um, Are you like focusing on grammar or just like conversation? At certain points, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then other times we've just been doing yeah. conversation. Yeah. Marcus, did you go out last night? No, senora. No, <laughs> siento. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have the trip to Sebovia. 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 We are leaving at 10.16. Sebovia, are you here? No, you are here. So I'm back from lunch and I'm going to go to the gym um, and I'm either going to meet Mo there or walk with him. Uh, one of our residents, Danny, also wants to join the gym and you actually need a passport to join the gym. So they had to go get Danny's passport from his homestay. It's Mo, everyone. So are we going to the gym? Yes. Perfect. I'm skipping our lovely Oh, right. Oh, he takes a long time in there. Up on the throne. Daniel. Danny? The porcelain throne. The porcelain throne. Like the iron throne. Everyone fights for it. <laughs> oh, they need to use the bathroom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Howdy. You're on video. <laughs> <laughs> How long was that on video? Alright, you guys. Sure right? Isn't this a nice room? You guys ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take you a second to sign up and everything. So I'm in the gym, Danny has to sign up and he's using my card, so I'm a little worried that my card's gonna be extra charged. That's okay. And then Mo got stuck at the entrance. She'll, he'll be in here soon, but here's the gym. Still working out, but I have to go meet Linda. 
to do the video that I want to do in French. So I have to go a little bit early. So I'm going to go back to the home state right now. So that's where I'm off to. Also, normally my face gets a lot redder than this, but it looks okay today, so. So now that I'm all showered, I'm going to go meet uh, Linda and we are going to go to the park. Hola otra vez. <laughs> bueno, vamos. Me vuelvo a Francia a domingo. El domingo? Sí. Ay, tan pronto. Sí, no quiero volver. No. <laughs> Estoy llorando. Pero a mi cuerpo. Yo también, porque acabo de conocerte. Sí, claro. No tenemos tiempo para sí. hacer casi nada. Pero um, voy a ver si quiero volver en Madrid ah, vale. como en junio para una o dos semanas. Bueno, me, me quedo aquí hasta el 28 de junio. Ah, Así que si regresas sí. antes del 20, de 28 de junio, sí. podemos ah, reunirnos. Claro, sí. Ok, perfecto. Uh, hola a todos y bienvenidos otra vez a mi canal. Gracias. Muchas gracias a ti. Bueno, antes de ir a Reina Sofía, vamos a comer algo en una tienda o algo así. No tenemos tiempo para sentar en una tienda, así que compramos un helado de fresa o de frut frutas del bosque o algo así. Um. So there's only four of us now on the way to the museum, but probably gonna be 10 people oh my goodness my goodness my goodness my hair there's gonna be about 10 people waiting for us in the museum welcome to the Reina Sofia <laughs> Alright, is everyone in? So we left the museum and now we're on the way to get some tapas at a restaurant called El Tigre. We'll come out from the bus to Gran Via. I think across the street. We lost Danny, the lone man, strikes out by himself. No service, no money. Hostel. No service, no money. Will he make it? We'll find out tomorrow. Let's follow our fearless leader, Deja. California. No, Florida. Nice. This is pretty nice. I'm, I'm, I'm legal in America too, so. You're not an alcoholic until you graduate college. No, you're not an alcoholic. <laughs> True that. And all this lovely food. I'm all so nice to wait for everybody to get their food. That's what I mean. No, like one of my own, yours, this one, and two glasses of wine. And I'm not even like, and mine. I just have a toe in the hole, I think. Not even a foot. I could drink all of it. Speaking back with me. Bye, have a good night. Have a great night. So that's pretty much my entire day. Um, I think some people are going out to some clubs tonight. I do not have the energy nor the desire to do that. I am exhausted. Um, and I need to get my sleeping schedule 
working again on track. So yeah, that is um, an example of a day in my life, at least, in Spain. Thank you guys for following me. I'm just gonna go back to my homestay, take a shower, um, and stop walking around with my camera because I've gotten some really weird looks. So again, respect to actual vloggers that do this for a, a living and have an, an actual thriving YouTube channel. Again, I apologize for being um, inconsistent with uploading videos, I really do. To my subscribers who've stayed with me, I really appreciate you guys, um, truly, I do, so, all right.